I think this is a this is a reality when it comes to the kind of situations which you are facing in terms of inflation. But much of the inflation is imported inflation. And the two major components of the inflation are edible oil, and the second one is a crude oil. As far as edible oil is concerned, the recent relaxations which have taken place in Malaysia, I'm sure it will it is going to address that component to a larger extent. But when it comes to oil imports, that we have got a huge oil imports which we and, and for that we are dependent upon the global uh, economies and uh, there we will have to probably live with for some more time as far as uh, the geopolitical situations across the globe are concerned they are probably the one which are contributing to the the crude oil where they are today so i think uh, but at the same time it may not be out of place to mention that the government of india is very much seized with the issue and that is one of the reasons why they have reduced the taxes only day before yesterday and that is going to actually address the part of the crude inflation also to some extent. Dinesh, I remember being in Vienna at a huge OPEC sponsored conference with Mr Pradhan who was the oil minister at the time and he was bemoaning OPEC policy because we got to $70 a barrel. I know that there is potentially some discounted oil out there for India. We know that there's been some negotiations, but 110, 113 bucks per hour, that's got to have a really painful effect on an India, an India which is transforming into more renewables, but is not there yet. No, in fact, I would say that uh, it has seen a significant progress which has happened in India as far as the renewable energy is concerned. Uh, in the year 2007, we were having just about seven gigawatt of the renewable energy capacity but today it stands somewhere around 110 gigawatt and we are committed to have 130 gigawatt capacity in the year 2022 itself and also 500 gigawatt uh, capacity by the year 2030 so i think we are rapidly moving towards you know towards the renewable energy there is a huge focus on the solar there is a huge focus on the wind power so we are trying to actually ca uh, capitalize on these opportunities and also reduce our dependence on the oil. Can I ask you about, about um, the RBI? Because this is something that concerns me. Scarcity of capital has long been a challenge for small, small and medium-sized companies in India. And the RBI recently hiked the key policy rate, 40 basis points. That tightening of monetary conditions is going to increase the cost of loans. How worried are you that this begins to choke growth? I had actually evaluated this particular impact, how will it really affect the small and medium enterprises. My assessment is that when it comes to the interest cost and the overall cost stack of, the, of any entity, it is from 8% to about 12%. Mm -hmm. And much of it, it, it will depend upon how much are they borrowing. So I think if at all, uh, we look at 40 basis point increase, which is, which is just about uh, a very small component of the overall interest cost for any corporate. I don't think so it will have a very significant impact. And uh, I think when it comes to SMEs, more important is the timely availability of the credit. Then I, I believe there are, uh, uh, there are certain S uh, SMEs which are raising at a very high cost. So if at all they can avail the credit at a reasonable cost in, at, at the point of time when they actually need, this will address all their concerns.